The last bit I'm just going to briefly talk about is the value of limited interests. Like I mentioned to you before in your psycho ITC example pronouncements that tell you that the value of limited interest in property will be given. I have given you also in your um, comprehensive lecture example, you'll see that there are some of these. I just want you to understand guys, here's a slide that you can work through. Basically it explains to you the difference between a fiduciary interest, a usufruct and a bare minimum. You won't be asked to discuss this. You might be asked to just use it, but you'll see how to use that also from the, um, from the question. Again, I'm just going to remind you that an asset has a market value of 500 rands. That is split into two things. It's split into the, uh, the usufruct and the beta minimum. Usufruct is the right to use. Beta minimum is the right to own. If the usufruct is 400 rands, then the beta minimum must be 100 rands. If the usufruct is 100 rands, then the beta minimum must be 400 rands. It must add basically up to your market value. But they will give it to you. Whatever they give you in the exam, that is what you should be using.